my name is Charlie Holdermote and this is this video is part of um, talking about PPE for fire lighting and cooking. So as you can see this is uh, my fire square and this is my boundary um, with the ropes to show the children um, where to come and so there's only one entrance in and out. Um, so for fire lighting it's really important that we've got water nearby so we've got we have no running water in this wood but we've got plenty of carriers and so we've brought those into the forest and here down on my left I've got a bowl with water in so if there are any burns um, I can quickly get um, the children to submerge their hands um, I also have a first aid kit um, which has a burns kit in and has the burned gel sachets um, and we have a fire glove and the children um, will be introduced to this and they can choose to use it or not and that's really helpful for adding logs to the fire or if we've got some pans that maybe need removing uh, we can take pans off the fire using the gloves and um, later on I'm going to be making some banana boats um, for lunch in the Dutch oven and so it might be helpful to use the glove to be able to remove those from the Dutch oven um, or you can use tongs if that's helpful. Um, if the fire got out of hand, um, we do have a fire blanket available which we can use. Um, obviously if someone um, got caught alight, we've got a fire blanket too. Um, and we've got plenty of water to be able to put, some, um, put the fire out. And also as part of our policy and procedures, we have an emergency action plan um, which is kept with the office of the school um, and we've got signal on our phone so we can call the fire brigade.